is Kendra Kent joining us now and of course Elsa hit in Florida earlier this morning mm -hmm. uh, was not that hurricane that we thought it would be but still that tropical system bringing a lot of rain and wind. Absolutely I tell you what that was good news we're so happy to hear about beans too so uh, we are continuing to watch Elsa as it is weakening across Georgia we will be moving into the Carolinas later tonight and becoming a tropical depression. Um, it will basically skirt right by the upstate but it'll be just south of us, meaning that we won't get the brunt of the worst effects from it. We won't see the heaviest rain or the strongest of the wind. Uh, by the time we get into Thursday afternoon, it should be a tropical depression um, in North Carolina. So as for Elsa's local impact, spotty rain through this evening and tonight, pockets of heavy rain early Thursday, and then breezy winds as we go through the entire day as the system basically uh, pulls away from us. I want to show you where we're expecting some of the heaviest rain and it will be in the southeastern portion of the area. Basically, the closer you are to that center of circulation, the heavier the downpours will be. And this will mainly be during Thursday morning from about 6 to 10 a.m. Of course, you can check in on the morning news from 4.30 to 9 a.m. And then again on the 4 and 5 and 6 o'clock newscasts and download the Fox Carolina app.